Hey, welcome to another video here in the People List app. So I just discovered a serious problem. If I try to add somebody, the uh, previous list disappeared. So I'm going to add Kim. She's 44 in a picture too. So it looks pretty nice. Kim's here. <clears throat> but watch what happens when I try to add somebody else. Kim will disappear. So if I try to add somebody called uh, Lori, and she is age 9 and 7, we'll look again. Where did Kim go? What's going on? How come I lost Kim? I still have my original three. Well, the issue is something with the application lifecycle in Android. Every time that you open up a new activity, the old one is really destroyed. And it has to be recreated when the user comes back. So when we see the command called onCreate, that is literally telling the computer to create your activity from scratch again. Look at line 31. Line 31 says, whenever we create a new activity, whether it's been hidden and re-shown or whether it's run for the first time, this always runs, my friends equals new my friends. And then after we create the new list of those three people by default, then it starts creating the fourth one from the incoming message from the other entry form. And so we really don't get any further than four people. So let's come up with a solution here to fix this. Now there are a number of ways that you can persist data in a activity. And so apparently here's somebody that's smarter than I am that has given me a, a nice solution. So I'm in Stack Overflow of the Android global variable, variable problem. So it says, how can I create global variables and keep remaining values around the life cycle of the application regardless of which activity is running? So the life cycle of the application isn't something we've covered yet in our tutorials in class. So it's worth searching for that to see the background. Essentially, lifecycle application means when we open up a new activity, like a data entry form, the old activity that called it is destroyed. It goes out of existence. And then when it comes back into activity, it's recreated. So that's what they mean by the life cycle of the application. So how to keep an application list of names around? Here's, here's a really good answer. It says here you can create a new class called my application and it extends the application object. This thing becomes a global class that stays around. It doesn't uh, disappear like the others. So let's, uh, let's follow this example. You can see he says in our case here we're going to have one persisted sum variable and we'll create getters and setters on it. Then we have to add something into my manifest to make this actually work. So it's not too complicated. Let's see how it goes. So let's switch back into here. I'm in my main app, and now I'm going to create this new class. So he suggests using my application for the name. And let's click, uh, let's see, super class is called application. So we will extend that and click OK. There you go. So here's our first line. It says, my application extends the application. So now we can put in regular properties like we normally do. So we have a private. In this case, it's my friends. Now let's create some constructors, or not constructors, but getters and setters. So we'll generate the getter and setter. Let's return back to the answer here. It says also in your manifest you need to tell the computer that you have a class called my application. So let's go back into my manifest. So the manifest, remember, are found up here in the first folder under app. So inside of application, we're going to put in a new line. It's called name. So I type in name and select the first item. And it says, hey, uh, do you want to use my application for a name? I sure do. So let's save that. So now, in my activity, or my main activity, I'm not going to create a new list of friends. I'm going to get something from another place. So let's go down and choose his uh, activity uh, get and set. How do you get to this thing? So let's, let's do about getting. I'm going to copy this example and modify it. So copy and bring it back into here. So let's see. I'll take that part. My application dot this application 
and get some variable. Let's see if we have a different getter. We have a get my friends. There they are. And so now I am pulling the actual data source from this application class. All right, so everything else hopefully works fine. Let's go ahead and run this again. And now we have a solution for our global variables. Oh, it didn't work. It crashed. So what did I miss here? So it says that we have a problem on here. It says uh, we have a null reference object on get friends list. So even though I have this global variable, I still wasn't very smart. When I create my, uh, my friends list, I left them as null. So we're going to have this as a new friends list or new my friends. There we go. Just for my own organization, I prefer to have the properties of a class listed first. So let's create this with an initial initialization and run it again. Okay, well at least the application didn't crash this time. Let's see what happens when I add somebody. So we're going to add Aaron and see what happens to Aaron. Aaron is added to the lists. Now we're going to add Bob. Bob is also added to the list, and Aaron and Bob are both here. Yay! So it looks like our persistency is working now. 